Hey, what's up, y'all? Coach Rock here, the official trainer for I Love Basketball TV. Welcome to your fourth workout of the week. This is your quick release workout for this week of the Shoot Like a Pro in 30 Days. Um, again, as you know, we're focusing on getting a quicker release, being able to have that quick release like Stephen Curry, um, Clay Thompson, and being able to shoot lights out um, faster so that defenders can't stop you. Um, again, be sure to come in tomorrow. We're going to work on increasing that range, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's knock out today's um, quick release workout. And yeah, let's just get into these drills. So welcome to Shoot Like a Pro week one, day four. Today we have the quick release series. So yeah, obviously today we are focusing on making your release quicker and more efficient so that you can get the ball off faster <laughs> and you could, you know, become a better shooter overall. Now the first drill we're gonna do is what we call them, spin the ball to yourself three times, then shoot. I mean, we don't really have a name for it, but the basic concept here is you're spinning the ball to yourself and you're practicing your footwork, getting into that one, two step quicker and smoother the more you do this the more it's going to feel like second nature and the more you're going to the better you're going to be able to actually do it in games so here we're just doing three sets of six makes um you're just doing one set at each spot so your three spots are the top of the key in both wings um and yeah so you're just going to spin the ball to yourself three times and then on the fourth spin you're actually shooting the ball um, out of that shot you're going to notice that's really going to get to be smooth and second nature for you um, as you spin the ball to yourself I want you to do a pump fake and everything like you're getting ready to shoot this is also going to help you with your pump fakes that we're going to work on in the future but it's going to help you become a lot more effective in making your pump fakes look like your actual shot now the next series of drills we're getting into is the off the backboard series now we have a lot of different moves out of this series but first just to break it down we're doing one set of each move off of each hand so for instance the first set is crossovers you're going to do 10 makes um, crossing the ball right to left and 10 makes crossing the ball left to right now here you can see me I'm throwing the ball off the backboard which I kind of like doing this because it does help you with your passing and stuff you can practice throwing it with both hands off the backboard getting it to come back to you if you have a rebounder you can just have them pass the ball to you and then you just quickly catch the ball and make the move out of the catch but the moves we're doing in this series is the crossover then we have the between the legs then we have behind the back then we have the double crossover then we have the cross between then we have cross between behind and then double behind so again remember let's say for instance the cross between behind the first time you start with your right hand you do right cross to left left between the legs to right right between the legs to left and then the next time you're going to start with the ball in your left hand cross to right right between the legs to left and left behind the back to right and then shoot so we're doing 10 makes of each hand starting the move Then after that, we're getting into the pop shots mid-range. So here you can see a hop. I'm taking a hop, and then as soon as I hit the ground, I'm quickly bouncing up into my shot. Um, this is really gonna help you work on that smooth release, getting the ball out um, quicker, and it's just gonna make your release much quicker. We're gonna do this um, from the mid-range, seven so you have seven spots and you're doing five makes at each spot. Do not move to the next spot until you hit five makes at that spot. Last but not least, we're doing the same exact pop shots, but we're going to take it this time behind the three-point line. This might be a little difficult, um, but again, seven spots, five makes at each spot. As you're taking that quick little hop, as soon as you come back down and hit the ground, I want you quickly getting right into your shot, um, a quick, smooth release into that jump shot. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you are ready to take your shooting.